Ooh, this could be stun. This could be the biggest mistake I've made. No, this could be, this looks beautiful already. Do you think? Yes. Look at that. That's crazy. I can't believe that. In today's video, I picked up 16 different pink hair dyes, and I'm going to be using every <laughs> single one of them on my hair. Uh, sounds a little bit crazy, I know. Can't guarantee what my hair is going to look like at the end of this. Uh, it's probably not going to look purposeful. It's going to just look like a bit of a mess with all the different colours going on. There's going to be light pinks and then hot pinks and rose golds and all different things. But the reason that I'm doing this, I obviously I need to go get my roots touched up. My, my orange hair is growing through. So I do need to go to a hair salon anyway. And all these products that I'm using, they're semi-permanent. They will wash out. Uh, some of them say washes out in eight washes, for example. So I figured, look, I'm just gonna go crazy. I, I'm gonna put all these different colors, all these different pink colors in my hair. Sorry. Then when they wash out and it goes back to its sort of blondy color, I'll go to the hair salon, get my roots redone, and uh, we'll switch up the color again. Maybe I'll go purple or something like that. Today's video has uh, caused a little bit of controversy via my Instagram. I put on Instagram, picked up these hair products from the drugstore, and I said that because 60% of my audience is in America. So I thought if I said I picked this up from Priceline, the 5% of the Australian audience that follows me, they, they would understand, but no one else would understand. So I said I picked these up from the drugstore and I got inundated with messages uh, saying, please don't use those products, they're bad for you. Now, this was really confusing to me because mm, one of them, Swatchkoff Live, I think it's called, my mum's been using that, not in pink, in different colors. She's been using it for like 30 years, so, I was very confused to see people saying don't use that. There was another one uh, called Bright, I think, Bright Organics or, or Bright something. Uh, people said don't use that, it'll ruin your hair. There was another one, lots of people saying don't use them, they're bad for you. Now, I've never used any of these products. I have used a Swartzkopf Live in orange before, just on my natural hair, which was fine. But I've never used any of those other brands. So uh, one particular message came through that was kind of alarming to me because uh, this person said like you shouldn't be promoting these products to your young audience, uh, they cause damage to hair, you've got a responsibility to not promote things like this. And I was really confused when I read this message because a lot of my family and friends use the products that I bought from Priceline. And they're not cheap products and they all said washes out, they all said semi-permanent, so I didn't think any of them would actually damage hair. So I took a screenshot of her message and I put it on my story and I just asked people for their thoughts. And people came back, some people said, yes, she's completely right, be careful. But a lot of Australians came back to me and they said, no, that person's obviously from America because they said you should go to Sally's. I don't know what a Sally's is, but people were saying, she was saying go to Sally's, she's obviously American. Maybe the products in America have different ingredients, but for the Australian market, we don't have those sort of damaging products in our market. Obviously, I'm completely new to the whole hair dyeing your hair colors thing. I have no idea. So if you guys know any more, please have a discussion down below. But yeah, when I put it on my story and I asked for people's thoughts, I got some really interesting messages back. Uh, there was a lot of recommendations that I pick up the brand Arctic Fox, Manic Panic, Dare. Uh, now those products are not available in Priceline, in our like chemist drugstore. So I had to go to a, a shop called Hair House Warehouse, which is like a specialty hair salon. And uh, I was able to get Dare and Manic Panic and another one called Revolution or something. Hey, stop. But people kept saying to me, you need to get Arctic Fox. A lot of people were DMing me saying that I can get Arctic Fox from Berserk. Now Berserk is kind of like the Australian equivalent of Dolls Kill, but not shady. And they actually sent me a hot, like a thousand dollars worth of stuff for free to sell at my fundraiser. So I really feel like I owe them. Uh, they're not sponsoring today's video. I paid for all these products myself, but when I went on their website, saw that they had Arctic Fox, I also noticed that they had a bunch of other brands too. So I bought every single pink hair dye that they had on Berserk. And uh, like I said, this isn't sponsored by them. They didn't give me this stuff for free, but I do want you guys to show Berserk some support because they sent me a thousand dollars worth of stuff to sell for charity. And that was so kind of them, they didn't have to do that. So I really feel like I owe it to them. So if you need to buy Arctic Fox or if you need to buy any of those brands that you can't pick up 
from your local stores. Head to Berserk, they do have uh, international shipping as well, but especially for my Australian audience, they have like overnight shipping. I bought this stuff in the afternoon on a Friday, and then it arrived first thing Monday morning. <laughs> so um, anyway, with all that being said, I know it's getting very rambly. So there's 16 pink shades in total. Now I'm gonna be calling my friend Tiasha, who is what I like to think a bit of a hair expert. She has been pink and blue and purple and yellow and like every color you can imagine. So uh, at the moment she's got a buzz cut. She looks incredible. We're thinking of dividing my head into quarters, you know, cause I've got 16. So I think I'll probably do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll be using all 16 colors on my head. Then this video is actually going to extend over the course of a couple of weeks and the mission is to find the very best pink hair dye that you can get. Yes, come in, come have a cuddle. Now some of the people that messaged me online said that some of these products can damage your hair. There was one message in particular from a girl that said, um, don't use, oh, I don't remember what product it was that she said not to use, I'll put it here. She said, don't use this product. My friend used it and it ruined her hair and she had to spend over a thousand dollars going to hair salons to fix her hair. So this is why I'm only going to be doing small strips of each color because I, I don't want to commit to using a single color until I discover which is the best. So what we're looking for in today's video is the color nice. I'm looking for the perfect soft pastel pink that's bright enough that it doesn't clash with my skin tone, uh, that's maybe a little bit shiny, maybe doesn't dry my hair out, maybe adds a bit of pearlescence to my hair. I've been told some of these products can actually uh, add like a silky shine to your hair. So we're looking for that, looking for the best shade, looking for colors that do wash out eventually and don't wash out to have a weird tinge to them. Like that person's message said that a particular pink washed out to be green. <laughs> So, um, yes. So we're keeping an eye out for what washes out well, but also what doesn't wash out too quickly, if that makes any sense. So without further ado, let's call in Tiasha. We'll bring in all the hair products. I'll show you all the brands that I got. And as we're going through this, I would love if you guys could leave comments below and tell me if you've used any of these products. Maybe you've used them in a different shade, for example, or maybe there's some hair products that I haven't purchased that you know about that I should try. Just leave some comments below. Uh, please give us a thumbs up as well if you are excited about today's video and subscribe if you haven't already because uh, we would love to have you in the flock. So with that, let's call in Tiasha and bring on the hair dye. So, so here's something I prepared earlier. <laughs> so we have the map of my hair. Mm -hmm. At the top, we'll do one, two, three, four, then we'll move down a layer, do the next four, another yeah. layer, all the way down the head. So product number one, we yes. have Lime Crime Unicorn Hair in the shade Bunny. So this one is $24.95. Now I've heard good things and I've heard bad things about this. Millie said this is terrible. Yeah, she, oh, it's so upsetting because the packaging is everything. <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so, it's so cute. cute. <laughs> look, it's adorable. It's got holographic yeah. text. It looks edible. It looks like something you'd spread on toast. Yeah. This is one I got off Berserk. Number two, we have Luna Tides in Petal Pink. Now this one is $19.95. I also got this on Berserk. I was very surprised by the color of the bottle. The bottle actually looks purple, but on the top it says petal pink. So it, it has pink written on it, so it looks like it should be pink, but it's purple. That looks so suspicious to me. <laughs> so suspicious. I don't know how this is going to turn yeah. out. Number three, we have Dare number 10 in Sugar Store. Now this one is $21.95. So I picked this one up uh, because there were a couple of different dare pinks and the girl came over to me and she showed me little hair strands of them both. And they both looked quite nice, but also she was, the, the swatch of this one, I wasn't impressed with, but she was like, oh, it doesn't actually look like that on real hair. It just looks like that on the fake hair that we use for these little hair swatches. And she's like, it's much more pink on real Why hair. Why would you use the swatch then? Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Number four, we have Bright in Pastel Pink. This is the first one made in China, and this is $8.80. I got this one from Priceline, so like a chemist, yeah. drugstore. I think Millie's had great success with Bright. She stands by Bright a lot. That's interesting, because so. when I asked people for their thoughts on that Instagram yeah. story, a bunch of people said, don't use Bright Organics. Ooh. Next up, we have Herman's Amazing Poly Pink, 115 mil. Now this one is $18.95. Okay, there's multiple things that are exciting about this. Firstly, made in the Netherlands. Is it really? Isn't that strange? Give us a, a thumbs up if you're in the Yeah, that's Netherlands. so cool. Represent. <laughs> Secondly, it says UV pastel. Does that mean it's going to glow? No. Me Next, we have L'Oreal's Colorista Washout in oh pink. 16.45. So many people DM'd me 
telling me not to use this. Yeah, I was just about to say, it, it, it's a joke. I think this is the one that the girl said to me, my friend used this and she had to spend over a thousand dollars going to hair salons to correct it because she said when it washed out, it turned her hair green and it wouldn't change from green. I it believe just that. stayed green. <laughs> I believe that. We've got Arctic Fox in Frosé, 1895. Now, this one was new on the Berserk website uh, as, as Frosé, so I don't know if it's a new color for the brand or just new to the website. The name Frosé is so excellent. It's like, so cool. Yeah. Next, we have Tintation in Pink Ooh, Petal. Mama. $12. This was on sale, actually. I think full price this was 25 or something. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. this one is uh, made in Korea. Which gives me hope because I love Korean yeah. products. I also got it in rose gold because the packaging looks very promising. Mm. That shade on the packaging is what your hair was before. Next up we have Manic Panic. Now everyone seems to swear by Manic Panic. This is the shade Cream Toad. This is the most expensive by far. This is $27. So Manic Panic, I have such a soft spot for Manic Panic because it, it was the brand that you used in high school. Really? Like all the cool kids would be like, let's go to Off Your Tree and get some Manic Panic and like blah, blah, blah. Off Your Tree. Off Your Tree. I got my nose pierced in Yeah, school. yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got my nose pierced in Off Your Tree. The one on Oxford Street? Yeah. It says Perfect Pastel. That's a very big call. That's a, that's a very big claim. Next up we have Swatchkoff Live Ugh. Pastels Cotton Candy Pink for a humble $5.50. You get, hang on, let's just open Wait, this. okay, <laughs> full disclosure, it's normally a bit more expensive, oh, but it's it? always on sale. Yeah, everything it's in Priceline is on sale. on sale. That's how big it is. So I think if I was going to use this to do my entire head, I'd probably need six, I would yeah. say. Next up we have Revolution in pink. This one is $15.95 and size wise 90 mil. This is made in Mexico. Okay. Now this is one I got from Hair House Warehouse. Uh, the lady didn't know anything about the brand. I never she, heard of it. She knew about Manic Panic, she knew about Dare, but I said to her, what can you tell me about this one? And she was like, <laughs> Oh, a mystery. Yeah. Next up we have Chroma Silk Vivid Pastels. Pretty in Pink. This one is $19. This packaging is so nice. I got this on Berserk as well. Beautiful packaging. I really like the fact that it's uh, it actually says Vivid Pastels. When it's mm. got pastel written on it, it gets my hopes up. Made in Germany. Dusseldorf. Cool, das ist gut. <laughs> Number 14, Crazy Color in Candy Floss. Mm. So for 100 mil, uh, for $12.95, made in the UK. This is the first one from the UK. Ah, the Brits do hair dye well, I think. Do they? I, I guess every, I don't know. I take it back. <laughs> Next we have Dare in Flamingo Feather. This one is $22. So uh, this one looked very promising in the swatches that I saw in the store. Yeah. But again, the lady was not confident that yeah. it would turn up the same on my hair as it did in the swatches. Last but not least, this is called La Fish La Fiche <laughs> Directions in Pastel Pink. I've heard of this one. Oh, so this one is $14. Mm. Where's this made? England! Another one from England. Okay, now colour-wise on this little bottle doesn't look particularly promising. You don't reckon? I don't know, it looks I think orange. that looks really fun. What colour think... is it? What... Well, it says here it's pastel, pastel pink. pink. That's not the... If they think that's pastel pink in that tube there... Yeah, this it... looks like a... An looks... apricot. So it must develop to be pastel pink. Surely they wouldn't be audacious enough to call it pastel pink. And when it's not apricot. Pastel. <laughs> yeah. So it's salmon. That's all of them. And then we do have one bonus one, which is a Schwarzkopf Live. This is in a lilac. Because people have been telling me they really want to see me with lilac hair. Yeah. I don't think it will suit me, but I'm willing to give it You're a go. You're so silly. It <laughs> will look amazing. Thank you. Uh, I just got this so we can maybe do a strand somewhere of the purple and see what it's like. I'm into it. Okay. So, wow. Sorry Let's that took started. so long. So, Tiasha's going to help me divide my hair into the 16 different strands. And then uh, once we've done that, we will get to dyeing. <laughs> Woo! Not not actually dying. You look exactly like Lisa McGuire. Like I was saying, she just needs to crimp like one of these and then look at you. <laughs> this is what dreams are made of. I guess this is it. I am I'm really nervous. I'm very, very I'm nervous. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> oh, that's a look. High fashion. Oh my god. Look like I'm ready for New York fashion Run away. week. Away. <laughs> Kylie Jenner's quaking. Okay, so we're starting with directions. Really? Yeah, I'm starting from the bottom. Oh, you're starting from the bottom. Yeah. Right, okay. Snake of the neck. Ah, yes, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> I'm an idiot. That does not oh, look like pink to me! Look! It looks like salmon paste. <laughs> wow! Okay, yeah. it's transforming like to pink in front of my eyes. It's orange in my hand, then when you put it in the hair, it's a baby pink. That's the difference. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's like this orange and now it's, it's pink. They're in flamingo feather. Tell me when. Stop. Yum! 
That looks nice. Yummy. This one's like a bubble gummy pink. Look at the difference between those yeah. two. Wow, I like I like direction. this one. This one's dare. I like this dare color Ooh. based on what it looks like right now. Might end up being different though. Mm -hmm. This is wow, crazy color. Crazy color. And it's very watery compared to the other two. This color is like in between the last two colors. Chroma silk vivid pastels. Ooh! Did not expect what that. What the color. hell? Wow, it's it looks kind of purpley. Put a bit more. It's like translucent as well. That's really weird. Strange consistency too. It's like really runny. Oh, I don't like it. It's so runny. Hard and to it's apply. like a gel. So this is the one that's made in Mexico and it doesn't have any English on the back. Are we supposed to do anything? Like shake it? I just put that on your hair and nothing happened. Nothing happened? It oh, like what? disappeared. For professional use only. That See, Tiasha, that's why it's not working. <laughs> I'm not, not a professional. professional. Instructions for use. Oh, go. They're hidden on yes. the inside. <laughs> Don't mix with the developer. Process 20 to 30 minutes at room temperature. Rinse with water. That's all it says. Oh, it's making me dizzy smelling it. I need way more though. Let's just try it again. Okay, let's try that out. It doesn't look like it's dying in your hair, but it is. Revolution pink. That is red paint. That is red paint! Wow. Oh my god, wait, are you sure that's pastel pink? That's what, do you mix it? Uh, no, I don't think you mix it. Okay, oh so. my god, that looks blood red. I don't mind if I have one weird strand of hot pink hair. What? <laughs> it's just like blood red. <laughs> oh wow, what? <laughs> oh my god. It feels like paint and your hair is immediately hardening, like when it's... Really? Yeah. My hair's hardening. As in like, you know when you have hair dye in your hair for a while and it goes hard yeah. and it's drying? That's what this feels like. It's oh, like hardening wow. and stiffening together. Wow. So like, it's bad. That's not good because when you want to put hair dye, you want to be able to get to the middle bits. Oh, And okay. it's creating like this crust around it. Oh my god. This is wild. What have I done? It looks like it's fully colored. Yeah. But then, see how that's not actually colored in there? And because the consistency is so thick, it's actually really like drying up before it penetrates the whole strand. Look how bright this is gonna be. Oh, wow. Look, I think, I think it's beautiful. <laughs> What's got live? Here we go! Woo! Now this is gonna take the entire tube for the one strand. This is what we're most excited about. I just got dyed through a glove. Yes. Oh yes, that's what we're talking about. I love how thick that is. Oh, that oh, looks like such a nice yum. color too. This is actually what I'm basing the wash tests off because this one says it'll last eight washes and I'm interested to see if it actually does last eight washes and if all the others last less time or longer than this one lasts. How's that coating the hair? Oh, just like a dream. Number 10, Manic Panic. Ooh, yay! Get in there. Ooh, blah, it's blah, like blah, slime. Oh yeah, it's got a really slimy consistency. Like farting putty. So as the most expensive. I have high hopes for it and also lots of people talk about this brand but then I did read one of my Instagram DMs that said don't use Manic Panic it's a waste of money so again very polarizing views. Oh my god I like your hair. What? It's just it doesn't want to die. <laughs> like does it? it it's like killed. stop it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks kind of pink but it also doesn't look like the dye is wanting to be there. Next up Tintation Rose Gold. This one is literally like water. Oh, Whoa, it's completely clear. Wow. It's like a like a gel. It looks like a jam, a strawberry jam. Yeah, it looks jam. like jam. It's like translucent. That's so weird. See immediately oh. how it's tinting like Oh yeah, it's actually soaking into the yeah, hair and, and tinting then, it. Exactly. It's like when you use a Korean lip tint. Like it tints your lips as soon as you put it on, it like stains it. I wonder if it's like the same ingredient. The way that it's applying to the hair seems pretty promising. Yeah. Color looks quite promising. I'm a big fan. Look at that beautiful color. Oh, that's not what I expected. Yeah, it looks much darker on camera, sorry, in person. Look at oh. it in front of me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's lit. It's the wow, same it color. looks really different on camera. Yeah. So I was looking in the viewfinder. Yeah. No, it's actually like really similar to this. That looks crazy dark, guys. Take it out word for it. It's almost identical. It's identical to, that. to this. Yeah. I don't know why on camera mm -hmm. it's showing up like that. That's so strange. Next one is Tintation again, the same brand, but in the color Petal Pink, which looks really pretty in the bottle. Ooh, oh, I love it! Oh my god, these are so awesome! That looks so wow. cool! Wow, that's like alien blood. It's so weird how it's like compl like it's clear. I can see straight yeah. through it. I look like Lagatha from Vikings. Yeah, that's been to Japan. Yeah, <laughs> and come back a decor girl. Hawaii version. Oh, going on well. Yummy. 
uh, oh my god, yum. Yum, yum, yum. That is probably, I think, my favorite so far. Next up, we've got Arctic Fox Froze. This smells heavenly. Oh my god, it smells oh, like sherbet. It's so good. It yum. smells like sherbet, yeah. Okay, that looks, that's that looks nice. very promising. That's a nice couple. That's the color you want your dye to look like yeah. if you want pastel pink. God, that smells so delicious. <laughs> that smells. I love it. So yummy. Such an enjoyable experience. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like you look like bubble gum and it smells like bubble gum. Like yeah. it's all very nice. Look at that. I I think that is kind of close to that rose gold one. Number six, L'Oreal's Colorista. Oh dear. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. That's the color that it turns out like. That would be very promising to begin with, but as we've been warned, this is not washed out to be so great. Or at least, I don't know if that's an experience that people in Australia have had, or if this is different overseas. Maybe it's got the same name, but different ingredients in America, but all right, let's have a look. Oh, Ooh, it looks quite nice. Okay, interesting. Different t consistency, like a runnier consistency. Okay, we're just setting aside half of this strand to put in purple. If people don't like it and they're complaining, I'm really surprised that they're still selling it. So that makes me question what's going on with this brand. Yeah. Wow, this one is so easy to apply though. Do you need some more? No. Really? You that's what I more? mean, yeah. Oh, that's really surprising. So, and look, I have like spare on my hand. Look at that. Oh. Okay, looks darker on the camera once again, but interesting. That applied really well. Yeah. Okay, so that's the one we've got to keep an eye out when I wash my hair after the eight washes. If that goes green, I'm gonna be putting the biggest warning <laughs> about it. Because we split that strand in half, because I didn't want to use too much hair with the, with the potentially bad product, this is gonna be purple. Obviously, this, is, this video is about pink hair dye, but I just, look, if I'm taking the opportunity to put 16 colors in my hair. I'm not gonna not put a purple one. Ah. Oh, that's not what I expected. It's so, they're like moussey, I well, love it. Well, it's really like pearlescent. Yeah, it's, it's really shiny. Yeah. That's so cool, I love it. 17 colors, really, Alex? <laughs> Stop now. You could have stopped at 10. That one is actually kind of looking like it's tangling my hair a little it bit. Is. Yeah. Which is really weird, because none of the others have done that. It's, I think, I don't want to say it's the dye as much as the, uh, the texture? texture, yeah. Because it's so thick, it clumps your hair together. Mm. So when you rip it apart, it's like, no, I must clump with my brothers. Wow, you know what? I'm actually loving the look of this purple and pink. Makes you want to do half yes, purple. Yes, do it. Or we'll do an ombre. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Now we're going on to number five, Herman's. Oh my God. Wow, that's a very different texture to all the others so this far. This is so strange. This is how it came. It didn't come in a box. It doesn't say anything. It's just got the ingredients. How's this one applying? Really nicely. It's very, very Wow, vibrant. look at that. That's the most vibrant of all of them <laughs> so far. I'm really excited to see what that looks like. I think the dash of hot pink amongst baby pink is lovely. Okay, number four is Bright, or Bright Organics, pastel pink. Let's hope it lives up to its name. Quick squeeze me, bright babe, once you've read the directions. <laughs> you uh, said that so uncomfortably. <laughs> Bright babe. <laughs> Quick, squeeze I me, can't. bright babe. <laughs> I can't use the word babe. I just can't. Like, I've never... You know, some people are like, oh, babe. You know, babe. They call their friends babe and all this. No, I, I don't know. It's just, I can't use that word. Sorry, let me try again. Quick, squeeze me, bright babe. I'm a super strong colour product. Please read directions before use and keep me out of reach of children. Babe. I work best on very light white or blonde hair. Babe, you need to do a strand test to check out how we look together before full head application. Did they really just use babe in their instructions? Just stop. Act like an adult, please. Babe. Oh, and babe, take as much care rinsing as you did during application. They have used babe eight times in the instructions. I don't want to use this product now. Come on, babe. No. no! Girl, you know that you need conditioner. Yeah, so it did say you need conditioner if you want a pastel, but you know what? That doesn't look too bad. Like, I'm sure that that's gonna look okay. Oh, <gasps> you know who you look like? The girl from High Five! Oh. That's exactly what she had, like, the pink streaks and stuff. Do you remember her? Australian kids from the 90s. <laughs> Smash like! But that applied, like, so nicely and so quickly. Yeah, and it's really running through my hair yeah. really smoothly, too. I can feel it's your fingers aren't, like, catching yeah, or anything. Yeah, that's glided through, and that's already done. That's done? Yeah. Wow, okay. This is such a nice colour. Yeah, that looks Good awesome. Lord. I love it. So, number three. 
we've got Dare number 10, Sugar Storm. Okay, so this is the one that I was a bit nervous that it was going to be too orangey, but as we learned from that, the very first one we did, it was orange, but we put it on and it went pink, so that it is doesn't orange. have a smell. It's so orange. <laughs> look how concerned you look. <laughs> I don't want to go back to ginger just yet. Oh my god, that's... That's orange as, as heck. The lady in the store said uh, the color swatch that she showed me was kind of orangey, but she was like, trust me, it's going to be pink. It's going to be a pastel pink. Girl. I don't know, lady. Girl, I hope so, because that's orange. Although you would look... Oh, wait, I was just going to say you would look dope with orange. <laughs> Do you really think? Oh, I mean, I always wanted to try. Ooh, weird. it looks pink. Does it look pink? I it, can't see. It's definitely going in pink. Which is so weird. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, good. Look at that. That's pink. Oh, it's like yes. orange, but it's going in pink. It's going in pink. Good. Very good. Okay, number two. Lunar Tides Petal Pink. Okay, this is the one that's like purple. Oh, okay. So it's a similar texture to... Manic Panic, was yeah, it? The Herman. Oh, the Herman one, yeah. yeah. Lunar Tides, huh? I'm suspicious <laughs> of whether this is even hair dye. <laughs> Oh, it smells so strong. It's so strong, it's giving me a headache. Oh my god. Okay, it's definitely working. It looks working. stunning. It's like beautiful. It looks quite purple. I think that looks really purple. It looks bubblegum pink in real life. Look. Oh! Yeah, it's so pretty. Oh, it looks nothing <laughs> like it does on camera. What? And last but not least, Lime Crime. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, it's much thicker than the last one. It Ooh, like yeah. holds its own shape. Oh yeah, it's like See? really thick. Yeah. It's, mm. it's super thick. Mm. It's like slime. Oh, it smells delish. Yes. Oh, nice. That's probably the second best smell to yeah. Arctic Fox. All right. And that went on the easiest, I think. Yeah. Out of all of them. And it's totally coated. And it is such a nice color. That's a lovely color. Wow, that looks so nice. I'm going to be so sad. If that's I... the pink that we should have had. Look yeah. at how green your eyes look right now. If that washes out straight away, I'm going to be devastated. I'm so sorry. Wow, look at me. <laughs> you look like a spider. <laughs> so how do I stop you looking like a spider? <laughs> There's no, nothing can stop it. I'm just a giant pink tarantula now. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so nervous. I am so nervous to see how this washes out. Wow, this looks crazy. I think that lime crime one is like the best. so pretty. That looks so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash this out, we're gonna blow dry it, and then we'll come back for our final thoughts for today. But then obviously I'm gonna be washing my hair, I'm gonna do eight washes over the next week or two or whatever, however long it takes, and I'll keep giving you updates along the way. Oh my god, Alex, you literally look like, like you're in a band of some sort. <laughs> you're part of like Scott Pilgrim universe. <laughs> like, it's insane. This is probably the craziest thing I've ever done. This is such a cool video. You look sick. Girl. I love how you went from someone who like wasn't allowed to dye their hair to like, I'm going to dye it 18 colors. Okay, so Tiasha's got to go now before I have a chance to wash it. So she's not going to see it until like a couple of days later. You'll, I'll send you pictures though. How dare you say a couple of days? You okay. have to send me it tonight. tonight. Okay, fine. You'll see it tonight. Can I just say that if anything like doesn't look good, it's not me. <laughs> what do you think, just before you go, Okay. as an experience as a whole, what yep. was the most enjoyable, least enjoyable color, blah, blah, blah? Uh, least enjoyable was the red. Oh, that, that was like, that was a nightmare. It just dried insanely quickly, like yeah. super weird. So it was like clay, right? Yeah. Like trying to push clay super through the weird. hair. And the most enjoyable to apply was the last one. Oh, the lime crime one. Lime crime. Mm -hmm. But that being said, I was really impressed with Temptation. Yeah, the, the way the gel, well. like yeah. and the kind of the translucency and the way it just like immediately like once it's on the hair, it immediately tints it. Do so you know what's been applied where? Yeah. And it doesn't do that conditioning thing that gel, like hair dyes do. So mm. I was into it. I was really into it. What color are you most excited to see? Oh. I'm, I'm most excited to see what happens with the L'Oreal one. To be honest. Oh, the color. Okay, that's this one. Gee, you're good. Just, just picking that off my head and knowing which one, one it is. Isn't that a nice color? It's a though? lovely color. That's the thing. If that washes out to be green. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's right next to the purple. But okay, most excited to see whether the red is actually red or whether uh, it's yeah. pink. Mm -hmm. And whether um, I like, I really like the orange. Oh yeah, the salmon -y mm. color. Okay, thank you so much for you're your welcome. help. You're welcome. Couldn't, I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> I'm useless. Okay. Thank I'm you. So I'm so I'm okay. I'll see you after it's washed. Okay, bye, bye. bye.
Done that to my whole head. Ugh. Luscious. <laughs> okay, do it again because you might need to put that in slow motion or something. 